In this video we're going to be changing the front brake pads and rotors on a 2013 BMW 523i 5 Series. Remove the two dust caps that are on the back of the brake caliper covering the brake caliper guide pin bolts. Then remove the aligning bracket that's on the front of the brake caliper. Give the caliper a bit of a scrub down while it's mounted up. This just gets off a lot of the easy to access brake dust and residue. You're going to want to remove the two guide pin bolts that are a hex bit. Pull the caliper towards you, this just makes taking it off a lot easier. Remove the two brake pads. As you can see, the old brake pad is pretty worn out, a lot of brake dust, and getting to pretty close to the end of its life, so we'll change them now. You're going to need to compress the piston back into the brake caliper. To do this, you're going to need a brake ratcheting tool or something to push the piston back in. This is my brand of brake ratcheting tool. If you want it, it'll be in the link in the bio in the next couple of weeks. Once you've done that, give the brake caliper a good scrub, clean down and spray it with some brake clean to get all the excess and old brake dust off. A quick side note, before compressing the piston into the brake caliper, take the brake reservoir cap off and just keep an eye on it so it doesn't overflow. Clean the brake caliper mounting bracket before removing the two 18mm bolts to take off the brake caliper mounting bracket, then continue to clean it and give it a spray down with brake clean when you're done. Remove the screw holding the brake rotor on. We're not going to be using these brake rotors, so with a hammer or a mallet, just give it a whack and it will come off. Once you've done that, clean the face of the hub and make sure it's nice and flush and clean the backing plate as best you can to get all the excess brake dust off. Apply a small amount of anti-seize to the face of the hub. This just prevents it from sticking or getting corrosion on the rotor for the next time you take it off. Spray the brake rotor down with some brake clean and we'll give it a wipe down with a clean rag. Then install the little screw that holds on the brake rotor. Once you've done that, reinstall the brake caliper mounting bracket. As you can see, it's very clean now, ready for the new brake pads. Apply a small amount of grease to the end of the brake pads. This just prevents any sticking or uneven wear in the future. Reinstall the other brake pad into the brake caliper, then apply a small amount of grease to the ears of the brake caliper. This just prevents any sticking or uneven wear in the future. Clean the brake caliper pin bolts and then apply a small amount of silicon grease to the ends of the bolts and then reinstall them. It's important to make sure these brake caliper guide pins are nice and clean and greased up as these are essentially the self adjusters for the caliper and you want the caliper to move freely. Clean the little plate that was on the front of the caliper then reinstall. Once you've done that, give everything a nice clean and spray down with brake clean and go over your work. If you like this video, please like, share and follow for more. Thank you so much.